have this stuff in your food, if anything, what's to be expected from a restaurant is an apology. Saying, hey, okay, we're going to bring health inspectors in to figure out what's going on. We apologize to our, our customers, etc. So you know how that goes. You're not just going to censor people for asking questions or being concerned that what they're eating at your restaurants might be uh, detrimental to their health. Health. Even though it doesn't matter if you got the toxic fiber, the toxic chemicals or the fibers in the chicken nuggets, the chicken nuggets themselves or any other thing at McDonald's is detrimental to your health. However, just a little parenthesis I wanted to open there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be forwarding this video to Infowars.com and NaturalNews.com. I really hope they pick up on it because people need to know that McDonald's doesn't want you to know that they have this stuff in their chicken nuggets or in, who knows if they don't have it in all their other food. Actually, pretty surprising. I hope Mike Adams actually goes forward with this little uh, experimentation here and uh, tests all the food at McDonald's because I'm very curious to see what the, uh, all the, their whole menu, what it contains as far as uh, chemicals or weird fibers or cacaroches, I don't know. However, yeah, they're censoring people. You want a reason to boycott McDonald's? You got one right here.